Hello everyone! First of all, I wanted to say sorry guys for not uploading a video in such a long time. Uh, I've been really, really busy with a lot of things, uh, especially school with my last and uh, my final year project. Uh, but I finished it, I already had the presentation. So if you guys want, uh, you can go take a look at the, the, web, the Facebook page of the game I was making for my school for my like uh, end of year project uh, I also moved to a new place uh, so uh, you can see if you have any questions about this game how to make it I can make some videos for you guys I also made some shirts yeah and so just find Eagle Man Eagle Man the game in Facebook and make sure to go like that and as well um, I've been seeing a lot of requests for making uh, stackable items, so that's what I'm going to do on the next video. In this video, we're going to optimize a little bit what we already have done for this. Because I was taking a look at, at, at this and I realized, oh my god, whenever I press equipment, you see it takes so long. I click and it takes like two seconds to change and we don't want that in our game but then I realized it's not a problem with our game it's a problem with this with the console so we're gonna fix that right now so we're going to open our scripts and the first thing we want to do is go to where we print uh, so we're going to find print and here I we have the hello to check so we're gonna comment that out and how I realized this was happening, I went to Windows and I opened the Profiler. So if you're new to Unity Pro features, this was this used to be a Unity Pro features. And here you can see the pics in your scripts. You just have to enable everything else. So I enable everything, just left the scripts long. And when I whenever I pressed, I saw a pic and that told me it was the lock on the console. So um, we're going to remove all these prints uh, that we have here and if you realize it should be faster now so now we don't have any messages from us but we have some warnings and so we want to take care of these warnings the first one is that it says we are trying to make, create a mono behavior using the new keyword and unity is complaining about that so we're going um, we're going to change this here in the game db.cs class uh, we're going to change new item uh, for the following game object dot add component and then um, we will we want the component type item and then we make parentheses we're going to replace this on each new item and why is this is because uh, item is extending mono behavior so whenever that happens, Unity doesn't like us to create uh, objects in that way. So we just add the component to, to this object and it will be the same. So we should get rid of half these warnings once we do that. Yeah, that's half. And you can see it's much faster now, but still we have many, many, many warnings. And this one here is parent of rec transform is being set with a parent property. And what Unity is complaining about is that we're just changing the parent directly. But the way Unity wants us to do it is to use the function set parent. And instead of equals to, we're just going to surround this transform with parentheses like this. So set parent and in the parentheses we add the parameter. Instead of parent, we're going to set parent and again this time slot transform. And we're gonna see this. And we're gonna take a look at this and no warnings. Yeah. And you see now it's much faster. Not even half a second. Uh, and you see the FPS constantly over 60 before we change all this it was much lower so uh, and I'm try I'm gonna try upload the next video tonight as well now it's very late though but I'm gonna try to upload it tonight we're going to be making stackable items as well as uh, we're going to start making a character uh, who can use these items in a game 
and after that uh, I also saw a request that I quite like it we're going to make a game like Line Rangers uh, which is uh, you can go check it out online uh, it's a little bit like Line, line Rangers or Castle Fight so we're going to make a game like that and and yes I'm, I'm, I apologize again <clears throat> actually I'm starting to get uh, a, a little flu uh, but um, yeah, I'm going to try keep uploading videos as much as I can. Uh, now I'm going to be much free, as I just told you. I finished school, and I'm really happy with that. And if you can go take a look at my school project, Eagle Man, uh, yeah, that will help me a lot, guys. I would really appreciate. It. You just need to give me a like. If you would like to purchase one awesome teacher, uh, teacher. <laughs> if you would like to purchase an awesome T-shirt, just let me know as well. And. Um, if you have any questions about this game, what, how did I get the, to use the VR settings or anything, just let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Damn, my phone's ringing. Goodbye.